In this video, we learn that how to use the ESP Touch protocol with your ESP32 based IoT projects and devices. Using ESP Touch, you will no longer need to hard code Wi Fi credentials as you can easily change it whenever you want. We will be using the Espressif app name as ESP Touch, Smart Config for ESP32. By using this app, we can easily configure our ESP32 device with a new Wi Fi credential. And also we will build an ESP32 project to store Wi-Fi credentials in EEPROM memory on a successful configuration. Additionally, we will use the onboard boot button on ESP32 as a reset button for erasing the stored Wi-Fi credentials and configuring a new one. So, let's get started. For this project, we will use Arduino IDE for programming our ESP32 board. For programming ESP32 using Arduino IDE, we will need to add the ESP32 board package in Arduino IDE. If you don't know how to install ESP32 in Arduino IDE then you can follow this tutorial, video given in the i button. Skip these steps if you have already done it before. Now we will need to install the Espressif app from the Google Play Store. After installing the app, now, we have to upload the program to our ESP32, copy the code from our website, link given in the video description, and if you want to know more about how the code work, then, you can follow our blog. After copying the code, connect your ESP32 board to the computer and then, select the board and comport, and hit the upload button. Once the program is uploaded, open the serial monitor. Select the BUD RED to 115200. Now you will see the waiting for smart config message. Now open the ESP Touch app in your mobile device, and connect your mobile device to your Wi-Fi router network. In Android, it will also ask you to turn on location service for detecting the connected Wi-Fi SSID. It will fetch and display the connected Wi-Fi network SSID and BSSID. Now you need to enter the password of the connected Wi-Fi network. Select the multicast radio button, and press the confirm button, you will see a pop-up like this. Wait for a while, and you will see a success message in the app. Along with the connected ESP32 BSSID and INET address information. And, on the serial monitor, you will see a message as smart config received, and now it will be connected to the given Wi Fi network. And store the Wi Fi SSID and password in EEPROM flash memory. Additionally, we will use the boot button as a reset button. It will clear the stored Wi-Fi credentials and restart ESP32 for a new configuration. You need to press and hold the boot button for more than 3 seconds and release it, and you have successfully reset the configuration. As you see in the serial monitor, the SSID and password has been removed, and, now you can store new SSID and password using Smart Config. We have seen that Smart Config is a very efficient and straightforward way to configure network credentials in our ESP32 based IoT projects or devices. And for configuration, ESP32 does not need any connected Wi Fi network as the Wi Fi manager requires. If you have enjoyed the video, then do not forget to hit the like and share.